Hey everybody, it's Andrew here from Andrew Warner Dog Training. I was just going to take a minute and show you how we introduced the e-collar here at Andrew Warner Dog Training. It's a controversial tool. People have a lot of things to say about it, but when you train with it and you train with it correctly, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we're going to have this dog off leash in just a few days probably, and this is how we do it. So watch me here. You'll hear a little beep every time I use the e-collar, just so you know when I'm pressing the button. And uh, you'll notice the dog should have pretty much no reaction to it, other than you know we're gonna start working together and we're gonna start flowing. So check it out. All right. So before I start anything, the first thing I do is find my levels, which I already did. So I'm working with a level three or four, depending on the moment. And what you'll see me is kind of sit there and wait for the dog to get distracted and I'll say let's go use the e-collar and the long line and my movement and the dog follows and I give verbal praise or pets yeah. now right here the long line actually got caught on the dog's leg which is common with some dogs some dogs just seem to get tripped up in it some trainers will make them work through it. I went back and adjusted just because it was tangled pretty bad, and then I just get back to business. No big deal. So what I want you also to start noticing is that I'm pressing the button before I use the long line. So I want the, the button pressing and the stimulation to be the predecessor to the long line. So eventually they learn to just respond to the voice or the or the e-collar rather than waiting for the leash to pull them every time. So again, when you're doing this at home, go slow, let the dog get distracted. Otherwise they'll just keep following you if you keep moving around. So. This is the one time when I'll say, you know, maybe bring your cell phone out. Take your time. It doesn't have to be fast rep after fast rep. Notice I'm trying to kind of ignore the dog until she comes into my space, and I want to congratulate that because our goal is to be off leash, and whenever they come over to us off leash, that's a good choice. Now you see what happens is sometimes the dogs get wise and you notice I'm actually having a hard time losing her. So every time I'm moving, she's following me. You might notice throughout the video that she's one of those dogs who kind of gets mouthy with the long line. We can address that later, but for now I don't want to make this a confrontational corrective type situation just because I'm trying to teach her to have fun, have a little freedom. She doesn't know me that well, so I don't want her to think I'm always saying no and correcting her for stuff. I have one mission here, and that's how you should do it when you're training with your e-collar at home. So here you actually see her getting a little distracted by the beeping of the, the box that I set up, so you guys could hear when I press the button. It's a high-pitched noise, so it gets dogs' attention sometimes, so it's a little bit of a detriment to the moment of training. But as an educational tool, it's great for you guys to be able to hear exactly when I'm pressing the button and when I'm stop pressing the button. And to gauge the dog's level of reaction when I push the button. Because most people think e-collar, they think, oh wow, you know, the dog's going to get corrected or a big shock and that's just not what's happening. So again, you see her kind of hanging out in my space all the time now, which is ultimately the goal. We want her to have a little more independence, but she's learning the game quick, and she's staying with me, showing me different obedience commands.
So as soon as she's on the same page as me, I stop pressing the button. I'm looking for that mental connection. So you saw the beeping got her attention again, so I had to use a little more leash pressure than before, just because she'd gotten so engrossed in that sound that I'm making. So there you actually saw the head turn a little bit quicker as far as knowing what to do when she felt the pressure. What you're noticing is the button pushing is tapering away a little bit and she's responding quicker and she knows more of what I'm expecting. Maggie, let's go. Distracted by the sound box again. But now she's got it. That time I actually didn't give the command for let's go, I just used the e-collar and the leash and she responded on her own to the e-collar which means the training is working and she's starting to understand that the e-collar means hey move with me. So even though she got distracted again by the sound box, she quickly remembered what she's supposed to be doing and did it basically on her own that time. Same sound box distraction, but she figured it out again. Those are just more pets because she's staying in my area and I want to make sure that staying in my area, checking in with me is always rewarded. And that was a real good one. I pressed the button a few times and she ran with enthusiasm. And what we really want to see is enthusiasm. So again, she's following movement, she's following the e-collar, she's got the leash as backup. At the end of the day, it's just good training.
All right, guys, there you have it. That's the simple introduction to remote collar training. We use very light pressure. It's three out of 100 for this particular dog. That's very low. Um, she had Her biggest difficulties were the line. You saw her messing with it, kind of biting at it a little bit, which I don't address too much right now because I'm still just introducing the collar one thing at a time. The other biggest problem she had was the sound box that I put up so you guys could hear it. Whenever I got close to that, she would kind of tune in on it. You'd see her ears perk up and she'd look probably towards the camera. Uh, but that's not normal. That's just an educational tool for you guys. So you could hear the timing, see when I was pushing the button, and really figure out how to do this stuff. So pardon her for that. But yeah, that's the basics, humble beginnings, simple stuff. Moving forward, she's gonna be off leash in no time.